Hello everybody, Bart Van der Molen here, owner and operator of the Muscle Factories here in Thailand. So I've been operating since 2014. For the last seven years, we have seen very good constant growth. And I quite often get asked, what is the secret to my success? And I'm here to give you five tips to my secret. Well, they're not secrets, they're just generally good tips that you yourself as a gym owner could probably use. So tip number one, maintain your equipment. I cannot stress this enough. Little things like your upholstery speaks volumes to your members. When you start seeing the actual cushion or foam or even the screws that is holding the, the seat to the machine, this tells your members two things. Either you stop caring about your equipment or you're in financial strife and you can't fix it. Either way, the member then starts to think, why would I want to renew my membership here? Tip number two, if possible, try to update your equipment or add at least a new piece of equipment in every year. You can either refurbish or replace something that's very old, or if you can, add a new piece of equipment in. The investment is well worth it. When I opened up in 2014, I had roughly 100 pieces. Now, currently, I have 180 pieces. And this is very, very important because as a member, you need to give them an inspiration or reason to stay with you. And nothing inspires you more if they can actually see the value of their membership increasing. So tip number three, be your own customer. As a gym owner, you should be your own customer. Use your own gym. This is very, very important because this allows the members to come up to you at any time. You are not hidden away in the office or you're never on site. The member knows that you are also training. So if that member has a concern or has a suggestion, he could tell you right there and then. How often have you gone to a restaurant where you're dissatisfied with the service and you tell the manager? You kind of feel that that's as far as it goes. Had it been the owner, you kind of feel that the owner will implement or react on it immediately. This will be the same if you are using your own gym. Tip number four, food. This is, should be a no-brainer since 80% of our results come through dieting. But quite often I see a gym will just have a refrigerator or they sell something as simple as a protein drink or protein bars. But we need home cooked meals. We need that chicken, we need that rice, we need that beef, we need that potato. Just before COVID hit, we were close to doing one ton of chicken a month. And that is a huge revenue earner in your gym. Do not just focus on the memberships and on, on the PT. Focus on the, on the juice bar as well because it can be an excellent revenue earner. So tip number five, it's not an easy one to do, but you need to find out what your wow factor is. So for me, it was basically, I've put so much equipment in here that when a member walks in for the first time, they literally go, wow, look at all this equipment. In their mind, they're doing this. Look at all this equipment that's gonna help me achieve my goals. Find something that gives you the wow factor. It could be the location. It could be the cleanliness of your whole building. It could be your staff that are outstanding by remembering everybody's full name but to try to find something that stands out. If not, you become a cookie cutter and then it comes price point only where the customer walks in and thinks, well, the gym down the road is cheaper than you, so I might go there. But if you give them something that's unique, like a wow factor, then the, it's no longer so much the money, it's more like, wow, I like this gym, the atmosphere is good, the equipment is great. Whatever it is, look for the wow factor. Stand out, do not become just another cookie cutter. All right, thanks for watching.